Hello beautiful people in YouTube land. Today we are working on a Swisher uh, pull type mower and uh, I use it for trails and mainly for trails because we have a bush hog for the open field. I'm not going to spend all day bush hogging with a mower behind my UTV. My UTV is, I'm not going to use it like that when we have trackers. Um, just putting the miles and the hours and the wear and tear. So I just use this Swisher uh, pull type mower for trails and for edging close to the, because it'll do the offset. So I can do the edge of ditches and ditch banks and stuff like that. So the problem is it's, I think the governor is stuck. There's something in the carburetor that's not working because when you crank it up, it wants to run insanely wide open beyond wide open even like hyper um so i'm gonna crack it open and try to find out if i mean he did this once before and i just tapped on it and tinkered with it and i don't know what happened i don't i have no idea what i did but it went to working this time i banged on it with a hammer i've pulled by uh linkages i've done all kind of things and um, it won't work so Stick around and let's see if we can't figure this thing out because I don't have a clue, one, what I'm doing, two, what's wrong, three, how to fix it. So hopefully, maybe you guys can, in the comments, tell me some shortcuts as you see me try to discover what's wrong with this thing. And uh, we'll go from there. So let's get into it. Let's. This is the Swisher. I don't even know what size it is. It's got an auction number on it. Apparently, the guy I got it from bought it from an auction. Um, I don't see any identification. Oh, it says right there, 60 inch. So it's a 60 inch Swisher. I don't know what model. With a 14 and a half gross horsepower Briggs and Stratton. So, looks like we're taking the carburetor off. Sorry, folks, the battery died. A um, couple of injuries later. I don't really know how this goes back together. But I can't find anything, find anything wrong with it. So, I'm just going to put it back together. I think the linkage was just binding up. Because that hook is not all the way around. Didn't work. I think the linkage is just binding up. This could be bad. Huh? I thought you were going to pull the butterfly out and pull this out. I was, but it went to working, so I'm just going to put it back together. No. No, go we'll help him. Yeah, that's nice. Kind of. That's nice. We got to get this done. I've got to go. Water the geese and goats. Are you guys? Can you guys see? I'm sorry, my my cinematography skills suck. <laughs> you got me looking at the freezer. <laughs> oh no! Y'all help me. How do I, how do I make this? Nicole, not suck. What's the point of that? The rod. Spring going from there to there. I mean, there's a rod from there to there. This has to go somewhere else. No, it's a, it goes right there in that little hole. That's what's hard. Help with the vibration of that rod. So that rod, that rod will vibrate and groove in the linkages. Give me a bowl of ice cream. Okay. Yep, that's exactly where that goes. Yeah. That's crazy. I don't. I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. Don't get it. I'm not a small engine mechanic. I don't get it. The only it. thing I can think is it helps with that rod vibrating. That's the only thing that makes sense. Hey, look at that.
Yeah. Got gasoline smell all over my hands and chocolate ice cream. Great combination. Stick around. We're almost ready to test fire this thing. So, I hope you stick around to the end. Because I got a surprise for you. Awesome surprise at the end of the day. Seen enough of that. Bad to work. Tote works. Throttle works. Still, it feels pretty free. I made a couple of revolutions in on that so the low idle wouldn't be so low. Now, let's put the shroud on. Be careful, this spoon come on. Does it even do anything? Well, I can. Is it over that? Is it over that? Yeah, that's... Well, sometimes I wonder how I succeed when I didn't think I did anything at all, but it works. So, I promised you a surprise at the end of the video, so hopefully this battery will hold out. I'm going to let it sit here and charge for a minute, and I'm going to take you right out and show you the surprise. So, I'm glad you stayed stuck around to the end. Uh, your uh, reward is fixing to happen like right now. And you got it all over your chin. That's the surprise. so tiny. <laughs> I know, baby. Mama's right there. <laughs> Baby's on the homestead. I guess they're not very photogenic. They're very photogenic. They're just not very camera friendly. So that was our surprise. Hope you enjoyed it. So God bless and thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. If you don't mind, you don't. If you want to see some uh, upcoming projects and some series and some of this ongoing mayhem, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you can keep up with everything that's going on. So thanks a lot and God bless. You.